if the, we want to have auto attack on for Zeri, usually off, but for Zeri it's on. So you can do the animation cancel dash. I can probably show it in a bit. Splash up is all about avoiding illusion cues and uh, Belkos cues. Obviously the other spells as well, but those are the most important ones to dodge. Those will be the most frequently used ones. So what I want to try and do is walk into the wave and then sidestep. To bait the illusion to cure the wave and then sidestep it. They will probably get prior if they play correctly. Belkos and illusion should have more wave here than Zeri and uh, Nami level 1. But since they're like low at Illo, they might as well just not play it correctly. So if we get a chance to take prior, we obviously take it. You win the game by taking prior. Because you can set up yourself for anything with prior, right? You can roam, you can recall, you can set up the wave to be a freeze for you. You can hit the tower, you can get vision in the enemy jungle, like literally anything in the game. Nami's a bit late. I was like leashing my listen on Raptors for some reason. But enemy team is also leashing, so we know for a fact no jungle is puff. Okay, they're not leashing. So now we don't actually know where Amumu started and we can just guess. And usually in this elo, people path towards top lane because it's easier to get a kill. Oh no, this guy should off support the dying. Either Mumu is started on red buff right now, he has ACS, so we know that he did um, red into Crux and then he ganked top lane because people do weird type of ganks in the Zelo. But now we can just track him the whole game. Also, his game is literally over from this because he's just gonna take his bot side. Even though I'm low HP and they're coming out with basic full HP, I'll have a minion advantage and a level advantage. I can't dodge both the workers and the Lucan. Some of the Nami died. Not going. If he went for this, he would have just died. Like she should go for. Really important to have movement speed here in this lane about dodging their abilities. If I dodge their abilities, they can't really play the game. How do you do this trick? You do step into QEQ and you need to have auto attack on. Auto attack doesn't actually matter on Zeri. Now, what would happen, right? If I click into them and I don't press anything, right? Like I would start auto attacking, but I can't. Now, obviously, I got hit by spells to show you guys. You get my point, right? You can't auto attack on Zeri because your auto attack is a Q. Playing him a little bit of a wavelength. length. Nami should like play aggressive. Yeah. I ended. Which is hard push to keep them in lane. I'll check if they. Yeah, nice. We stop the space. Now he's stuck in lane with low HP. Now he should die for it. Forward and give him some damage and this way for Insta. What should have died? I was already in the wall. How that work? One for one. Right now I'm in the low bracket where I can literally just make somewhat brain dead plays and outplay them mechanically. But as soon as we get like high elo, we shouldn't make this type of play. It's just, just to accelerate a bit. Because if you're in like diamond and you try to mechanically outplay them, yes, you're better mechanically. If it goes wrong, it's really bad. Wait, it's checking out curate. I had a, like usually you don't also get this type of recall off against like players that don't have five minute reaction time but I had a feeling he had a five minute reaction time. Like this elo only needs mechanics and in like higher elo you also need to have some brain. You can use both in lower elo games. Okay, 
Ja, so, ich stehe halt für Ultimate Last Second Dagger. Ich hab mein Chef, Double Dagger. Everything win rate to Diamond. I mean, I had a 100% win rate to Master already, so yes. I also think 100% win rate to Grand Master is possible. Is it likely? No, you also need to start. When we hit a ship on loot, that's that good. Yep, there we go. Got enough gold, they follow it. Okay, Oriana's still in the end. I don't know what she's doing, but we can just on her since we're in level and item lead. The moon was so trash that he hits it, it's crazy actually. Like if I do a simple dodge to one direction, he will just not hit it. Let's secure Nami. So usually I could also just base here and get a really good base, but since the whole enemy team is dead, besides the Momo and two people are showing mid, I can just go push here. He's strong enough to take the tower. Fuck! Oh, if I had dash, I, I could dash a loot, but I didn't. I guess I should have flashed it. This face rush. Make sure to cut away off. Let's get myself items. Solution has more items than me right now because he came out of base. I just wanted to farm their jungle and base, but whole enemy team started fighting my Aurora who got caught, so... I buried nothing. 